point is you have to learn how to expect change and how to step into the future without pain. And how long will it take to build these cities? Well, I would say it would take about approximately 10 years to change the surface of the earth with multiple jigs and giant machines, not brick layers, plasters, high-tech systems, about 10 years. Okay. We've gotten cities all over the world, but we'd have to level most of the old cities and mine them for steel, glass, whatever we can get from them. After we level the cities, we might keep a few cities as museum cities to show people what people used to live in, to, to show kids of the future what the world used to be, just as the pyramids would be preserved. And this is inside the new city. Mm -hmm. Can you see it already? This is just where people live. Flowers, gardens, mm -hmm. no slums, no street people, no hungry people. Hi, my name is Andrew Buxton. I'm the co-founder of the Venus Project Design with my partner Yulito Vielga. We started working for the Venus Project two years ago uh, to help them develop the physical models that Jack has done throughout his life uh, with Roxanne uh, into 3D CGI for use in future films and media. We're also building up a global database of scientists and technicians, engineers, architects, etc. Uh, which we intend to use at a later date if any countries or if there's a global move towards a resource-based economy that we'd be in a position to be able to help build teams globally to begin the design of the first cities. In ancient Rome, they had to use a lot of columns to support a structure. Yeah. Now you can have a structure way out without any braces or anything. But the old architects said, you gotta, it looks bad, put some braces there. You don't need them anymore. The old airplanes were braced all over the place. Now the wings are tough enough to hold themselves up. But if you cling to the romantic concepts, of the German house and the Swedish house, you know, with all the lines on it, or English architecture, then you're dead. You're living the life of a dead person that influenced you at school. Let's now do architecture that's relevant to the best of new materials. 